Uh, Bravo uh, TV network now admits the couple who crashed this week's state dinner at the White House were being filmed by a camera crew connected with a reality TV program. And Mikhail Salahi is being considered for the Real Housewives of D.C. She and her husband were being filmed as they prepped for the event. Uh, no filming took place on the actual White House grounds. A uh, Bravo spokesperson said the Salahis said that they were invited to the event and that the producers had no reason to believe otherwise. A lawyer for the couple says his clients were cleared by the White House to be there. The White House refused to comment. However, the Secret Service now admits the procedures were not followed at one checkpoint to determine if the two were indeed on the guest list. Joining us now on the phone is Dan McDermott, who is the publisher and editor-in-chief of the Warren County Report newspaper, which is out in the area where Oasis Winery is, which the couple owns. Dan, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. It's nice to be here. It's safe, keeping me from spending all my money at the stores today. <laughs> well, you would definitely be with uh, many, many others uh, if you were out, out about this morning. Uh, listen, we have been saying, and we have to say at this point, uh, you know, these, these allegations that uh, Mikhail Salahi is being considered for this reality show. Your newspaper has already put it in print that she, in fact, is on Real Housewives of D.C., and they were, in fact, filming out in your area, right? Yes, I was at uh, a shoot. It was a, a camera crew of about a dozen. We've got pictures of tons of uh, maybe six, seven different camera folks, boom microphone operators. The entire cast was there from Real Housewives. So it's pretty much a done deal, and I would say this cemented it. And uh, it, it, But it's been known for some time, but they're, they're coy about it. After, they actually took some footage of me, and a producer handed me a four-page legal document asked me to sign it. Uh, and I looked at it, it said NBC Universal, it said um, that you can't talk about the show. I didn't sign the agreement, um, but I got a copy of it. And so it, it looks like it's a done deal to me. Uh, talk a little bit, they were doing the filming uh, when, when you were out there, out at the Oasis Winery, which has been the, the center of a lot of the debate as far as uh, what the state of that winery is. There's been some questions about uh, legal actions going on there. I know their website says uh, there'll be a grand reopening sometime next year. What's going on? I wouldn't pack your bags for the grand reopening. Um, the grapes are, are dead. Uh, I spoke to Corin Salahi, the mother, uh, at length. I interviewed her for probably an hour, and she said they're down to like 200 bottles of wine. They're in bankruptcy. Uh, she, a couple years ago, apparently, Shaquille O'Neal, the basketball star, tried to buy the winery. And then the family feud was such that he just left, apparently, because it was just too crazy a situation. And... For any reporter who's covered it, it is just sort of like a Falcon Crest type thing, where one side's saying the other side, and you don't know who to believe. Um, but I would say that the, the, the winery is, is not in great shape at all, and you know we'll see what the notoriety from this brings it. Now, Dan, for those of you who, who cover this couple and the family, and for those who are familiar with the winery and the operations out there, uh, does any of this news about the party earlier this week at the White House, does any of this come as a surprise? Well... Obviously, it's a surprise when someone crashes the White House. But for folks who know the couple, uh, they clearly are interested in being famous. Anyone who would seek out to be on a reality show where your relationship with your wife is exposed and, you know, for the world to see, to be in that kind of hourglass. It's not something that most folks would seek out. I certainly wouldn't. But I guess if this floats the boat, I mean... Yeah, I was talking to Thanksgiving, I was talking to a relative, and he said, you know, they didn't go in there with guns blazing, they just walked right in. And so the question is, are they going to end up being sort of uh, the, the criminal balloon boy type uh, legacy, or is this going to be viewed as some kind of heroic hoax, gag, whatever uh, that they accomplished? Who knows? But they certainly, uh, they certainly you know, got their 10 minutes of fame, and it's probably going to be a ratings bonanza for the TV series. Yeah, which is, is most likely the whole reason why this all played out in the first place, uh, you know, regardless of what people are saying at this point. Uh, all right, Dan, for, for you and, and the good folks at the Warren County Report, uh, you've covered this from all angles so far. Now with all the new spin, uh, in addition to the news of the winery, now the news of the White House crashing, where do you guys go from here? How are you going to follow up on this? Well, one interesting thing is uh, right now, obviously, the local angle is the winery and, and how they're doing and how the family's doing. The, the, it's a sad story. But also, uh, they're, they're now saying that, they're, that they were invited or they cleared. They're using careful words. And one question I have, I'm wondering if, because, see, he's in charge of the Polo Cup. Tark Salahi and his wife are the owners or organizers of America's Polo Cup, which is a tournament where one country comes and... It plays the United States, and whoever wins gets the Polo Cup. Well, next year, according to their website, India is going to be the country. So I'm wondering if they're, 
their invitation, or whatever their excuse is, is they're going to say someone from the Indian delegation had invited them. So we're going to pursue that angle. All right, sounds good. And we invite uh, folks to check out your reports on uh, your website as well. Uh, Dan McDermott with the Warren County Report newspaper. Dan, thanks a lot for joining us this morning, and uh, good job staying on top of everything. My pleasure. Have a great Black Friday. Thanks, Dan. Enjoy the shopping if you make it out there with so many others this morning. <laughs>